Good morning friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Name is Point. In this particular tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to design a certificate of achievement or certificate of experience in Microsoft Word. The design procedure is going to be quite simple and you can replicate this particular design in Microsoft Word without having to face any difficulties at all. So let's start the design and first we need a blank document. So we take a blank document and we get rid of the margins. In order to get rid of the margins, what do we have to do? You have to go to the layout section, margins, custom margins and set all the margins to zeros. So what we have, we have a margins free blank canvas ready. But before that, we need a landscape format of this orientation of this page as well. So we select the landscape, click OK and ignore the button if you get any internal masses. So as you see, we got a landscape format margin free canvas ready for design to start the design first we need a shape so we go to insert section shape rectangular shape click and draw click and drag the entire canvas if it goes outside of the canvas don't worry because we'll it's only going to incorporate till it has inside it we go to the align section center align center and align middle make sure that it is all exactly aligned as it's supposed to be First, we are going to make a border. In order to do that, we go to shape again. Rectangular shape. Click and drag. Just a little shorter than the existing canvas shape or the border shape or the rectangular shape. Fill with white color. Shape outline, no outline. Go to align one more time, align center and align middle. Select the outer rectangular. Go to the gradient section, more gradients. Gradient fill. Play with the color option. Go to the more color. And here you can select any color combination as you like. This is not mandatory and it actually depends on the person whatever color combination they want to use okay just make sure whatever color you're going to use for any particular points gradient points you need to select that gradient stop first and then you can apply the color combination we are going to use like somewhat blue and darker blue theme you can play with like gold and black yellow green whatever it is so now we have a blank canvas we are going to use this blank canvas now go to the shape option shape outline feather go to the weightage more with more lines solid lines gradient lines rather gradient stops first adjust them then select the first one color option nice go to the shape outline weightage one more time weightage to 6 keep the weightage to 6 so inside border already has a fantastic gradient effect go to the shadow option shape option rather from there to shadow increase the distance a little keep adjusting all the effects we'll in increase the size a bit as well Decrease the distance a little more. Great. Go to the insert section. Okay, from here, now we are going to use the all the elements of a standard certificate. First, we are going to insert a logo logo of the company or the concern who is going to award the certificate to the person 
any person who is eligible okay so first we take a rectangular shape and in this shape we are going to insert a picture by going to shape fill option take a logo logo of the company the company who is going to present the certificate we take we took a like a simple png logo of any company shape outline no outline adjust the size reduce or increase the size as per the requirement of the canvas size okay now the title of the certificate like for which purpose you are going to award the certificate like certificate of achievement certificate of appreciation certificate of experience experience certificate rather just type that particular thing in very distinct and bold font it is very important but because whenever someone glances upon the certificate they know that exactly for which purpose this certificate is given to the awardee play with the font style and size not the copy paste by pressing control c and control v the existing text box We are going to make the title as Certificate of Achievement. As I said before, you can use this particular format to create any sort of certificate like Experience Certificate, Certificate of Participation. Okay, you will increase the text box size a bit, bit and use the same font size for both of this line 40 and 40 increase the text box that they accommodate look looks nice now this certificate is proud we are going to increase one more line which will say that this certificate is proudly presented to this certificate is proudly presented to the person the next line we are going to include the person name will be awarded the certificate These are the critical element of a standard certificate. So please make sure you always include this basic information. Yes, you know. Decrease the font size and the text box size as well. Copy this existing text box. Now here we are going to Include the name of the person who will be awarded the certificate fee. Name and surname. We'll play with the font style because this would be the main focal point of the certificate. So using a very stylish font is very very critical. Increase the font size a little more. Let's keep it 80. Perfectly accommodated. Fine. Fine to the adjustment by dragging the text box. Great. Now we would like to give it a, a like a slight underline. Instead of giving the like control pacing control U from keyboard, we are going to use a shape as a line and then increase the weightage of the line make it a dash effect give it a da dash effect rather and change the color to whatever color you want looks nice go to the line align section align center yeah fantastic <laughs> Okay, 
type in this small text box okay the certificate is already presented to the person but if you would like to give any specific information like this person has completed two or three years work in your particular company they have achieved some significant uh, goal or they have performed extremely extraordinarily so all the information you can include it here in a very small section for giving the details of the certificate why the certificate is presented to the person and so and so okay so we'll leave just two and three line space here you can increase include the details of the certificate why the certificate is presented to the person okay we just use the normal lorian span text you can utilize the this section for your customized text decrease the size a bit if you need to okay we have completed some of the important portion of the certificate already now you are going to use the date when the certificate is presented to the person that is also very important today's date is 24th or 25th you can we are going to use that date okay. underline that and below that just includes another text box saying that issuing date the date the certificate is being presented to the person everything is editable as it as it comes in microsoft word format so if you would like to use this particular template you can simply do that just by changing the all the necessary elements okay we need another text box small text box and in the text box we we'll include the text like issuing date Fantastic. So we'll kill any extra space it has. Because we need spin still some space to include like the authorized person is going to present the like authorize the certificate plus chairman or like president of the company with signature we'll first take a like a rectangular shape here Should go to the picture option we're going to include a picture like achievement logo or badge Let's utilize this badge to authenticate. No outline. Make sure you, whenever you insert a picture, just make sure to use like no outline option that it doesn't carry any outline features. We need two more section. First is fair. Like the name of the person who is who is going to authenticate the certificate and to give his signature. So let's just give a name like Amelia Stone. A M E L I A. Okay. And you have to also give the like the position of the person who is in the company the position she or he holds so we'll just shift the text box a little higher okay looks fine and we are going to use another text box and here we type like coordinate director coordinate director o r d i director c o o r c w o r coordinate director this is the position she holds and she is the one who will authorize the certificate first adjust the size and text box 
the size find to the placement use a simple underline or the simple line to separate the signature section here you can the person who is going to authorize the certificate can signet can give his or her signature there okay copy all the three elements make another copy and drag it to the right section of the certificate here put another name like chairman of the board like uh, John Doe let's let's check on the, his position is chairman of the board these are the two person who authorize the certificate and in the blank space they can leave their signature so this is it we have completed the certificate design will reduce the page size and show you in full how the certificate appears and this is what you get once you follow all the steps we said we mentioned here so if you like the content of this video please make sure give it a thumbs up because it will uh, like give us a very much enthusiasm and also appreciate us to uh, like hard work in future and come up with more videos like this and please subscribe our channel so whenever we come up with a new video you get an instant is a notification and there is another uh, gift you will get with that that you can download this particular template from our website and the link will be given in the description so go and explore the description link of this video and, and there you will have this template absolutely for free thanks for watching and we'll catch you in our next video